Let's make my simple yet absolutely delicious fish gravy, full of onions and packed with flavor. Let me show you how I go about that. For this dish, I am using white bass already cleaned and cut into my preferred sizes. I season each piece thoroughly with my favorite spices and dry rub. Adding fresh green seasoning, salt and crushed black pepper to build flavor. Now rub it all in to coat each piece of fish evenly. Mmm, smells wonderful. Looks stunning too, right? Perfection. Now set it aside to marinate. While that's happening, let's prep the rest of our ingredients. I have some red bell peppers which I'll be using, so I chop them up by removing their seeds. And yes, again, I will be roasting the ingredients to boost the flavors here. So into the air fryer, because that is the roasting option I'm going to be using again. And with the red bell peppers, I will also be roasting half a large onion. So I chop that up as well and add it to the air fryer. And for my tomatoes, I remove the flesh and the seeds and the extra juice from the tomatoes to speed up the cooking. I will be roasting the flesh with the rest of the vegetables in the air fryer. And here's how I remove the seeds and the extra juice, just like so. And set the rest of the flesh or the core aside. We don't want to waste that. Now I have my chilies, I have habanero chilies and scotch bonnet. I remove the seeds to decrease the heat that they introduce to the recipe and into the air fryer they also go to roast with the rest of the vegetables. Along with the garlic and also the ginger. I season this layer also with some salt and crushed black pepper and drizzle of oil. Then roast them using the veggie option. While the vegetables roast, I chop up the rest of the onions and set them aside. And the vegetables are done roasting, so the next step is to blend them until smooth. Now remember, I saved the tomato cores to add chunky texture and volume to the stew. So I chop those up. Perfectly done. You want to set that aside. And now let's get cooking. We're going to start by sauteing the onions in a bit of olive oil until soft. You want to season with your choice of spices, crushed black pepper and salt.
And now you want to cook for about a minute. Or until they're fragrant. We're using medium high heats now. Because last thing we want is to pull moisture out of these onions. Now add fresh green seasoning. It looks amazing right now. And stir that in. You want to cook this for under a minute at this point. And now we will remove the onions and set them aside to be reintroduced at a later time. So keep on watching. Friends, thank you so much for watching up to this extent. I appreciate you all for your support and love. Make sure you're hitting that like button if you have forgotten to do so. Just a quick, gentle reminder. Also share the video on all your social media platforms. It is time to cook the fish. We're going to fry the fish in the same flavorful oil, ensuring all sides are cooked. And we're going to set them aside. And now in that same flavorful oil, we're going to cook some tomato paste. Just a small amount of it. We're going to cook that for about a minute and a half. And we don't want to forget seasoning as we go with some crushed black pepper and salt. For each layer as you deem necessary. And also you can use your preferred seasonings and spices. And if you feel it's necessary, add a little more oil. I felt so, so I added a little more cooking olive oil. And, and then I also added my chopped tomato core. And I cooked that for about 30 seconds or so. Now I did have some green chili sauce on hand. So I added that for extra flavor. Perfect. And then the next step is to add the pre-roasted vegetables. And then as you stir that in to combine, the next step is to cover the pot and cook on low heat for about 10 minutes or until the oil resurfaces. It is looking very good. Yes, so now we're going to finish with more green seasoning, then reintroduce the fish and sauteed onions. Then we'll cover and cook for two more minutes. And voila, it's ready to serve.
And today, I served it with roasted buttery potatoes. And it was more than yummy, friends. And the beauty of this dish is you can serve it with anything you choose, steam vegetables, pasta, just name it. Thank you very much for all your support and all your love. Be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate every support you can give me here. And then share the video as well so others can learn about Nanabe's Kitchen. We have nothing but love to share here. Let's spread it. Friends, thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you pretty soon on my next one. Have a great day. Make it a great day actually. And have fun, especially in that kitchen.